Hey everybody, it's your mayor again, Tom Kolopsky. And today we're going to read about elections and how important it is uh, to your freedom and what it means to have the right to vote. So that being said, this one is called One Vote, Two Votes, I Vote, You Vote. Voting is something we do every day. It's a way we can choose that gives us our own say. We vote for class president and which snack to get, where to go on class trips, and what to pick as a class pet. Voting gives each of us our very own voice. It allows a large group to make one single choice. How do you vote? With a proudly raised hand, marks on paper, thumbs up or down, understand? Can you choose not to vote? Yes, but that's a sure way to lose your own voice and to not have a say. The biggest of all of Americans voting events chooses our president and vice president. Are presidents important? Oh yes, they are very. They head up the government and the military. Vice presidents take over on the unhappy day when president gets sick or else pass away. Every four years we elect them, you see, because we live in a democracy, a government for, for the people and run by them too, which means that this country is governed by you. Every two years, we elect senators and congresspeople of our choice to make laws in Washington and to be our state's voice. We also elect sheriffs and mayors and such. Do local elections count? You bet, just as much. When our founders drew up the Constitution, it's true, they said, folks, you should vote, but they did not say who. Since then, our history is marked by brave fights waged by people who struggle to win voting rights. For all of the races, for all of the womankind, for all of the 18-year-olds, bear in mind. That means that quite soon you will get to vote too. So please pay attention. This matters to you. Only citizens can vote. And you've just been told. People who are at least 18 years old. You must sign up in person or on the internet with name, address, and birth date and one more thing yet, you can write down your party if you do not mind. Cakes and ice cream, you're thinking, is the party that kind? This kind of party, I'm here to report, is the kind that we know as the political sort. It's made up of large groups of citizens who share beliefs and ideas and opinions too. Democrats and Republicans are the biggest too. Plus some small parties to pick from, more than just a few. In primary elections run before November, votes will be cast by each party member for the candidate who they hope and they pray will be on the ballot come election day. Candidates set out on the campaign trail to convince voters that they will not fail. A vote for me, the candidate says, will make your dreams come true someday. With speeches and ads and town hall meetings, with handshakes and waves and cheery greetings, they work to win the voters' trust. To win nomination, this is a must. I may be wrong, but it does seem to me that voting is one big responsibility. As a voter, you must follow news carefully. You should read, watch, and listen, and try to see what the candidates, if elected, plan to do. What are their beliefs? Do they ring true to you? Debates are held for the people to see the candidates talk on live TV. Moderators on hand have questions to ask. To give their best answers is the candidate's task. At meetings called rallies, supporters get out to cheer the candidate they most care about. Supporters on the phone are going door to door say, vote for my party on election day. They raise lots of money, collect change in jars, and sell campaign stickers and stick them on cars. George Washington won the vote, so I have been told, during a winter that was snowy and cold. In 1845, Congress passed a vote to say there would be an earlier election day. The day each year is easy to remember. It's the Tuesday after the first Monday in November. This date was chosen for a good reason. It came at the end of the harvesting season. When election day comes, the voters' big role is to make sure to vote at their assigned poll. A poll is where you vote 
as a general rule, it is a public place, like a firehouse or school. If you're out of town, there's a chance you might. Mail an absentee ballot. Voting is your right. People cast their votes by different means. Ballots fed into computers or direct voting machines. However you vote, it's important you see that voters are given complete privacy. A curtain or screen protects voters from you. This ensures that your vote is known only by you. The polls close up at the end of the day. Here come the counters. Please clear the way. By special computer poll, results are scanned, but some votes are still counted by hand. The results are sent to the Board of Elections, which declares the winner after careful inspections. The loser admits their bitter defeat. The winner announces their victory sweet. The winner vows to serve everyone in the land, not just the supporters who lent them a hand. All of this rings true. It is my dearest hope that you will cast your first vote for the cat in the hat.